What's up YouTube? It's your boy Jay with Brother Cousins Toy Reviews and that's right, I'm back with another one. Today, I'll be reviewing something that's been very long awaited. That's right, The Lost Boys David by Sideshow Collectibles. Let's check it out. Okay guys, so let's first start off with this wonderful box right here. Look, this is an amazing piece in itself. It has the look of the old VHS tape that we all had back in the day of this great film. And I gotta admit, Sideshow did they thing with this right here. It is super authentic. It's just like a big version of what we had when we were all kids and this is just great it just ticks all the boxes and this is just a great box this is just an amazing piece and a great piece of graphic design making it look all beat up and weathered like that it looks great and then also looking at as we spin to the back here the back of it just gives you some shots of the figure and it also tells you a little bit about the figure itself they did they went above and beyond with this piece and this is a work of art in its own okay so now let's remove the slip cover off and what you see right here is the chinese food takeout box that my that michael and david had during the movie where he said the famous line it's just noodles michael <laughs> so you see the chinese takeout box right there and some cool graphic design. Like I said, Sideshow went above and beyond with this and it looks good. It really does look good. You see the little maggots going across there, the box. You see the little Chinese takeout, little, uh, little uh, building that they have right there. And it looks good. It says, hold up, let's look at that real quick. Let's bring it to the, bring it back. It says the Lost Boys David sideshow six scale figure and you get a little peek at the figure there in the window box and that's what you get and this looks great okay because this is a smaller figure um and a smaller box i wanted to go ahead and use a smaller table so that's why my display looks different right now but uh, it is what it is. So first up, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories with this piece. And as you see right here, you got a gloved hand. And because this is a sideshow figure, I do like how the pegs are already pre-selected in the gloves and they just slot in to the arms. I do like that. I like that sideshow does that. We're just gonna pull these all out like so. And here's another gloved hand. It looks good. Looks spectacular. Nice sculpt work going there on each one of these. Like I said, he really doesn't come with too many accessories. So uh, let's get a look at what we got. You got the hand that holds the chopstick right here. Very nice. And I believe all the hands are the same. Just variations between the right and left right there you also get this very finely sculpted bottle of bulls in this nice decorative bottle and it looks good man and we all know this was supposed to be wine but we all knew what it was it was blood so yeah man looks good nice bottle of blood wine here <laughs> love the details on it the details are very nice very nice details on this i must say looks really really good i think uh sideshow did they think with that that looks good that looks really really good good job sideshow good job on that okay we're gonna look at this real quick we're gonna look at and i believe this is gonna be my favorite sculpt the moment of truth you get the vampire david sculpt and my first impressions of it 
I think it looks pretty damn good. I think it looks pretty, pretty damn good. Love what they did with the eyes, the teeth, the tongue you see there. You got the earring on the side there, that looks good. You get the mullet <laughs> and the spiky hair, which is David's trademark. It looks good, man. I really like how this looks. I really, really like how this looks. I think they did a good job on this sculpt. I mean, you know, if it was in art, if it was Hot Toys, I do think it still would have been a little more sharper, but I gotta give kudos to Sideshow. I think they did a good job on this. This one looks really good, really good. Good job. Good job on that one. Now I know there are some more up. Oh, oh crap. Before we go into the rest of the figure, oh, let's go ahead and look at the rest of the accessories. Let's go ahead. Okay, that's just glued on. We got the stand. Let's get this out of the box. Y'all didn't realize this was gonna be a true unboxing there, did you? right so we'll get that out the way come on sideshow you got to do better with your stands guys so you get the stand right here it says david <laughs> the lost boys david in a matte black finish and that's about it oh okay <laughs> you get the chinese food boxes right here if those are indeed worms, no magic trickery here. No magic vampire trickery here. Now, the only thing about this box that I'm seeing is like, there's no metal like wire going around the box. That's just not accurate. Now it's not accurate. It's not accurate. This one has noodles. But yeah, just a little, they could have, how hard would it have been to do that? I mean, seriously, seriously, sideshow. And then this one right here has the maggots. See the maggots? You're eating maggots, Ma. You're eating maggots, Michael. Get those right there. You get the chopsticks, which I'm not gonna pull those out just yet. I'm not gonna pull the chopsticks out just yet. But we are gonna look at these hands, these vampire hands. And, uh, man, these look good. Damn, look at the nails. They look so funky. Good paint work. Hold on. Great paint work on this. Great, excellent paint work. Excellent paint work. That looks great. That really looks great. Now let's also look at the hanging vampire feet. That looks good. Well painted. Well painted. Well painted. You look at the nails. Boy, that looks funky. That really looks funky. Damn, that looks good. Good job. Good job. We're not gonna look at the other one for but uh matter of fact we, we might as well, just in case, you know. Okay. That Tootsie looks good as well. <laughs> that looks pretty good. That looks good. All right, look at let's look at the normal vampire feet. Hold up, and there they go. Funky nails, funky feet. They look good. Really, really looks good. Really looks good. That one looks good as well. Hold up, hold up. There we go. That looks good as well. Now we also have this right here. We have this piece of a cave, which kind of looks like, <laughs> it kind of looks like a, a, a rice cake a little bit. <laughs> So you got a rice cake. <laughs> I'm tripping. So this is a piece of the cave where the vampire feet hang off of. 
and it somehow attaches to the base and we'll take a look at that a little later but uh yeah that looks good looks good really looks good i think overall hot toys did a hot toys sideshow my bad <laughs> so used to it being hot toys but overall i think sideshow did a good job i think they did a real good job now let's go back to what everybody wants to see and that is the figure itself and we pull them out and here's the moment of truth here's david or somebody that's supposed to be david um <sighs> okay seeing this with my own eyes um i'm gonna say it guys it's a bit of a downgrade it is it's a bit of a downgrade it's kind of hard to see keith or sutherland in this figure i'm gonna say it i can see it at some angles but it's 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 almost there but not quite um ugh. damn 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 sideshow you almost had it you almost had it you were this damn close this damn close and you didn't you just didn't close but no cigar um it looks good it does look good it looks good this looks like michael it does and it's close to how keanu keanu not keanu reeves oh my god it's close to how keith or sutherland i don't know how okay. another 80s actor i'm sorry mixing up my 80s actors but very close to how keith or sutherland looked very close but it's just not there like i said if this was hot toys if this was in art they would have blew this shit through the roof they would have did this but it's it's almost there but it's not at the same time it really isn't but um i do like the vampire sculpt i think the vampire sculpt actually has a stronger likeness in my opinion um all right let's get these bags off them let's look at the rest of the figure i'm looking i'm liking these boots oh man these these boots are official the boots are official whistle they are all right you got the jacket you got the pleather coat you got the overcoat here i mean he's well tailored he is well and i mean well tailored guys he looks really good cut and sew on this guy is amazing you got all those decorative buttons right there and um those look good those really really look good look very movie accurate <sighs> i mean the figure itself looks good looks good i'm looking at the jeans the jeans are kind of weathered that is cool that is very awesome very awesome look how weathered the jeans are the jeans are weathered to perfection i love how this looks it looks good the undercoat itself looks good as well wow they did an excellent job on this like i said the outfit of the outfit is damn good damn good it's just his head sculpt it's just i have a hard time seeing keith or sutherland but if you look at it at an angle you can almost see it i'm almost starting to see it just a tad bit like right there i can see it i can see it but um let's get this bad boy on the turntable and um take an even closer look at it okay and here he is in all his glory david from the lost boys from sideshow collectibles and i gotta say um my first impressions i like it i really like it i think it's a really good figure now could it be better absolutely it can be way better way better way better but for what it is in the execution, I think they did a great job with it. I did all over, all around, I think they did a good job with it. I remember seeing um, a video from Sideshow about the guy that actually put this figure together. He said he went back in, he did a lot of work, he retooled it, he worked on, he worked 
real hard on the clothing and on the sculpt and making it look as accurate to the movie as possible. And I will say this, he did a damn good job. He did because the clothing, the cut and sew on this piece is amazing. It is phenomenal. First up, let's start with the boots. Let's start with the boots. My God, they look fantastic, guys. The boots look fantastic. They did an excellent job on that piece. I mean, you look at the spears, this, uh, the, sp the spares on the back of it, how it looks. They almost, I'm not sure if they're die cast, but they kind of look like die cast. They really do. If that's plastic, damn, they did a good job with that. Moving on up to the weather leather pants. My God, this looks good. And yes, this is not real leather. It's faux leather, but still it looks good. And how weathered they look and everything and beat up and torn. These guys have been running around in caves, biting people, doing all wreaking havoc all throughout San Dimas and all that good stuff. This, th th looks good. It, it, I mean, the outfit tells a story in itself. Now looking at the under suede coat, that looks good, well executed, looks great, very proportionate to the body, fits very, very well. And then we got the overcoat. The overcoat, come on, you know, Michael ain't Michael without the overcoat. Little medals and decorative medals and tidbits and buttons look fantastic. Once again, the cut and sew on this outfit is simply amazing. But now here we go. As we all know, when it comes to figures, especially one six scale figures, it's all about the portrait. It's all about the head sculpt. Let's be honest, it is. And I'm sorry to say it, but this head sculpt is a little soft. It really is. If this was, as I said before, if this was done from Hot Toys or Anart or any, or any of the bigger one six scale companies, I think they really, well, let's just be honest. Those two companies right there, they would have did this up. They would have really gave you some real 3D lifelike, uh, really lifelike paint apps with this. This one, you don't get it. It's kind of soft. It gives you, look, if this was a 2014, I would even say a 2018 figure, this would be great. This would be passable. But we are way past that at this point. We're getting character i mean we're getting close to even better prototype looking figures from for final product okay and with this right here it looks good but it is a downgrade from what we've seen from the prototype it is i hate to say it but it is looking at the hair the hair is sculpted pretty well um especially for this particular hairstyle i do think the paint apps on the hair could be a little better and a little bit more hd and a little bit more lifelike it goes i can see like pieces of where it was you know put together and everything like that i can see some seam lines here um with this look and i mean as i said before if this was 2014 this would be fine but because this is 2024 and we have modern day paint applications i think they could have done just a tad bit better in my opinion okay now we're talking this head sculpt right here is by far the better head sculpt it really is one i could see keith or southern's likeness in this especially underneath the prosthetics and makeup i can tell that that is keith or sutherland the paint application on this one is way better just looking at the teeth the mouth the tongue the teeth how it's all painted looks spectacular the eyes how sunken in they are looks great the furrowed brow just looks fantastic this is a great piece right here this is the better sculpt i ain't gonna lie this is the better one i am not gonna i'm not gonna kid you I, I, when i i was a little disappointed looking at the original looking at the neutral portrait but then looking at this one right here this saved the purchase <laughs> it really did this saved the purchase for me because this looks great let's look at it at a different angle right now Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Look at how the tongue and the teeth just come together. This is beautiful, Ma, chef's kiss. This looks very damn good. Let's look at it from the other angle. Once again, 
fabulous, just looks great. They did an excellent job with this one right here. This is the stronger sculpt. Okay guys, so that's been my review on the Lost Boys David from Sideshow Collectibles. And on a scale from one to 10, I give it a solid eight. Yes, I'm giving it an eight. Look, this figure almost got a seven, which probably would have been my lowest rating in a very long time, but I gotta, I gotta be honest, the figure kind of redeemed itself over time. Uh, the, the whole vampire transformation saved this figure. It really did. It is really a fun figure to transform into vampire mode. It is very fun for him to go back to human mode and have him hold the Chinese carton of food, the, the, the cartons of Chinese food, and have him look cool. He poses very well, surprisingly, especially for a sideshow body. We all know the sideshow uh, kind of didn't ha have, a, they, they kind of don't tend to have the best bodies, but with this one, they did an excellent job on. It's, it's not loose, it's not very rigid, it's somewhere in between, which makes for very good posing. Very good posing. Um, at least with this copy, by the way. But I found it very satisfying to transform him into vampire mode. And, he, and I honestly think the figure looks best in vampire mode. It's just so much fun you can do with this figure, hanging him upside down, uh, all the posing options that you can do with them. He, as I said, he is a very fun figure and that's what saved it. Now, pulling him out of the box, honestly, I was at first a little disappointed. Not with the clothing, the clothing is on point. The cut, you're paying for the cut and sew on this figure. That's, what's, that's where all the money went. The tailoring, the cut and the sew of the outfit is spot on. The materials are spot on, done very well. But that head sculpt, the Keith or Sutherland human head sculpt, that's uh, honestly, that's where this, uh, that's where this uh, figure loses points. It just doesn't hold up to where we're at to date with likenesses and paint applications. Like I said, if this was 2014, this would have been great. This would have been perfect. But to today's standards, it just doesn't hold up. Today, we demand more from our likenesses and paint applications of these head sculpts. We just do. Um, with Hot Toys stepping it up and with InArt coming, it, you, I mean, it just, it just doesn't live up to today's standards. With that being said, it is not a bad sculpt at all. It's still not a bad sculpt. You can still see Keith Sutherland in there. It just takes, it's just not a 10. That's just what it is. It's not, a, the head sculpt is just not a 10 out of 10. It's just not. The vampire head sculpt though is amazing. I do think the hair, the painting on the hair could be better. It could be a little bit more HD. Look, it gets that plasticky figure. It, it gives you that plasticky figure feel to it, which that's what it is. But I think it just could have been better, but the sculpt with the teeth, the tongue, how it all looks and comes together, the eyes, how they're sunken in, the paint applications, the veins throughout the forehead. It's a, it's a masterpiece. It really is good. And that is the better head sculpt. The vampire head sculpt is the better head sculpt. Now, with that being said, I think this is a great figure for any Lost Boys fan or any horror fan, this is the one to have. It is waitlisted right now on Sideshow and it is waitlisted for a reason. This thing is really good. It's definitely good. Now, 
is it three hundred dollars good? Nah, that's where it gets that's where it gets a little tricky. I'll say this: the tailoring, the cut and the sew, is amazing. That's what you're paying for. The, the materials of the outfit are very, are done very well. Sideshow has come a long way with that. So they did a great job with that. Now, one other nitpick with this figure is Keith Sutherland is only like 5'9", 5'8", 5'9". This is a big boy. He's kind of a tall figure. He really is. He's kind of tall. So they could have worked on that a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Depending on how far they go with this line, if we're going to get another figure from this line, you know, if we get Michael, it'd be interesting. You know, him and Michael can't be the same exact height, but you know, Hollywood, they, they really didn't, sh you know, showcase it that much, but yes, uh, Michael is bigger than David. That's just what he's, he's, a, he's a taller guy. It, that's just what it is. So, um, yeah, with that being said, a little nitpick but not the worst not the worst thing at all but i will say i do like this figure a lot this is one that is definitely that is going to stay in my collection because i am a big lost boys fan the seven year old in me is just over the moon for this really is i loved lost boys i had the lost boys soundtrack lost boys uh poster probably wasn't supposed to be seeing stuff like that at seven and eight years old but hey i grew up kind of weird and it was the 80s you know so i i turned out all right i think i think i did but anyway the figure is amazing i think it'll be i think any lost boys fan will be super happy with it if you're a horror collector you'll be happy with it if you're a horror one six scale collector you'll be happy with it i gotta say sideshow overall did a great job well i'll say they did a very good job they could have did a super great job if that head sculpt on the human david was if it was spot on if it was a 10 if they would have knocked that out this would have been this would have been i would have said this was sideshow's best figure now i will say it is close it is close to their to their best figure in my opinion but i'm happy with it overall but you know what guys that's my opinion let me know what you think like share subscribe bang that bell for notifications and all that good stuff i'll see you on the next one deuces and we are out